Had too many days, right, to break out the winter coat so far this season, but that won't last long. And as the temperatures start to drop, it's important every child is able to stay warm. And that's why Terrence Wheeler is here. He's talking about a coat drive that kicks off today. Good morning. Good morning. Thanks for being with Thanks us. Thanks for having us. Okay, tell us about this drive. So What's this the a coat goal drive here? at River Bruce uh, High School. Uh, starts today, ends February 22nd, uh, 2016. The goal is to alleviate all barriers to education. Oftentimes, as you know, Joan, that if kids don't have proper coats, they won't come to school. We can ill afford for kids to miss a second, a minute, an hour of education. You know, every day is count day. So with our partnership with Born Fly, with Trinity Transportation, AK Steel, UAW Local 3000, we're able to provide over 500 coats for our young people. I'll never forget when my, my uh, kids' elementary school, we were partnering, partnering with the school in Southwest Detroit, and the principal told me that there are families where the kids share a winter coat. Yeah. And I, I mean, that is heartbreaking to think that, like you said, the, the problem here is that if you don't have a coat and as the days get colder, those kids won't go to school if they're freezing at the bus stop. Absolutely. We see kids on, on a daily basis at the bus stop without the proper coat. Right. And we live in the state of Michigan. It's very cold. It's blistering cold. We've been fortunate thus far. However, that won't last long. We have to continue to labor abundantly for our young people. Absolutely. They count. You've got to give them the tools they need. And we often think about pencils and papers and books and, and all that, but we need the basics here to get them to school. You mentioned it's at River Rouge High School, but this is not just for River Rouge students. There are, if there are other people in need, they can come to the high school and get a coat. Is that Absolutely. right? A kid is a kid. Yeah, of course. You know, if a kid goes to River Rouge School District, that's fine. If a kid goes to Wyandotte, we're here to service our young people. At the end of the day, this is, we're in a life saving business. We got to do everything possible to save our young kids, give them every opportunity to be successful. All right, I love this here, and I'm seeing a lot of new coats. I'm seeing tags on them. What what if someone's sitting at home right now and they've got some coats that are a little bit gently used? You know, well, so to speak. you know, we prefer to have a brand new coat okay. for, for liability reasons. However, gently used coats are acceptable as well. Okay. Um, like I said, we're fortunate. Born Fly, they overnighted these coats from New oh, York. Beautiful. Uh, from my friend uh, Alan Davis. Uh, Sean Johns sent those hats from, uh, from New York. So it's a plethora of, of relationships that say, you know what, we want to save our young people. We want to keep them warm uh, and keep them continue to get this translation of education. You really need the younger sizes, you think, but any size probably is okay. Any right? size is okay, but preferably the kindergarten through fifth grade because those kids are the ones you see oftentimes at the bus stop without the proper uh, garment for winter. All right, Terrence, you've been wonderful. The information on your screen, River Rouge High School, is that where you take it, by the way, Absolutely. if you want to donate? 1460 West Coolidge Highway. You see? All right, new or gently used again kindergarten through fifth grade but if you have other ones they'll take it as well like Terrence said. Terrence thank you. Thank you so Life changing much. work you're doing we thank appreciate you. it very much. All right after the break we've got some gift ideas for the Red Wings fan on your shopping list this holiday season. Stick around. That's a queen.